Hi everybody. Welcome to relaxation with me, with Susie. Wild Heart Yoga. And I'll just give everybody a little time to arrive and settle. So it's Yoga Nidra this evening, so no physical movement. So just find yourself somewhere comfortable to relax. Maybe you've got a yoga mat or maybe you've just put a blanket on the floor. And just settle yourself down. You might want um, a little pillow under your head, nothing too fat and squidgy, but just something just gently so that you can lengthen the back of your neck and the chin will then naturally draw down and then your eyes will draw down rather than looking up. And when the eyes are, are looking down, automatically there's a message to the brain to quieten. And you might want your blanket over you so that you don't get cold. And just settling down. So you're going to be on your back with your legs relaxed. The feet are dropping out to the sides. And the backs of the hands are on the floor and the arms are just a little way away from the body. Palms are facing upwards and that's a gesture of receptivity and openness which is very useful in Yoga Nidra. So settling back into what we call Shavasana, that lying down pose on the floor. So make sure you're cosy. Getting comfortable. I'll just give it another minute or so and just let people arrive in this virtual yoga space that we're in together and hopefully you're in a, a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. Maybe you've got some candles, maybe you've got some incense or essential oil and you've created a really nice haven for yourself in which you can relax. And so yoga nidra is yogic sleep, so it's conscious relaxation. It's very much about letting go, releasing and allowing ourselves to be soft. We spend much of our day very active, the mind is active, the body is active, and very rarely do we pause. Even when we're at home, quite often we'll have lots of things going on around us, the TV's on, or there's music, or various different stimulants around us. So this is just you creating a little space for yourself, where you can be still, but you're focused. So hopefully we're all settled down. And so closing your eyes, just see if you can tune into your breathing. So quite often the key to being really connected with your body is to use the breath. So just noticing what your breathing is like tonight. What's the quality of your breath? And where in your body are you feeling your breath? So is it quite high in your chest? Is it down in the belly? And maybe you'll notice the movement of your body as you breathe. 
noticing which parts of the body gently move as you inhale and as you exhale. And you're just starting to think about letting go. So just softening, noticing maybe those places in your body where you unconsciously hold. So quite often this might be your belly, it might be the throat and around the jaw. could be your thighs, quite often if we're tense and anxious we tense up our legs and around the thighs. Maybe the shoulders and the back of the neck. And of course your face. So between the eyes. See if you can soften that skin between the eyebrows and just letting the eyes sink back into their sockets, nice and soft. And sometimes a way of encouraging those places to release is just to breathe, maybe if you're a visual or person that can visualise things a bit more easily, maybe you can visualise yourself breathing into those places. Feeling the energy coming into the body with the breath and then as you exhale, just allowing the body to release, allowing the belly to be soft. And don't worry if it's, if the body's feeling pretty tense, if lying still is difficult for you. Don't worry, it's fine. I think lots of people feel this way. You're not on your own. And just noticing that, notice any discomfort that arises and just let it be. It's okay, just accept it. And just carrying on with your breathing. And so as we go into our yoga nidra, we're going to make a little resolution that we're going to try to be still and we're going to try not to fall asleep. However, that's quite hard if you've had a busy day, so it's absolutely fine. You might find that you tune out, you fall asleep and you'll, you'll wake up just as we're at the end of the practice and I believe that actually things are still happening on a deep level, so don't worry if you do find that you fall asleep. So just bringing your awareness now to the body, resting on the floor and reconnecting with the breath and the movement of the body as you breathe, the very subtle movements. And just really feeling that connection between the back of the body and the earth. So noticing the places in the body that are connected to the floor. And just see if you can consciously release down into the floor by noticing the heels and maybe travelling up from the heels, perhaps the calves, are in connection with the floor, maybe the buttocks, and then the back, and noticing where the back starts to come into contact with the floor, where that lumbar curve turns into your thoracic curve and comes into contact with the floor, and the shoulders and shoulder blades and then noticing the backs of the hands and the elbows, noticing which parts of the arms are connected to the floor and then of course the back of the head and the earth is there holding you, strong beneath you 
and just allowing you to let go. So just taking a couple of deeper inhales and as you exhale, maybe just making a gentle O with the lips and just breathing out a full exhale, inhaling through your nose and then exhaling Just do one more of those. And then we'll just allow our breath to return to its natural rhythm. And just imagine that with those exhales, we've allowed a bit more tension to leave our bodies. So as we proceed into the yoga nidra practice, we're going to set our San Kalpa so that it's our resolve for this practice. So you'll be just coming up with a short resolve, little phrase, something that you would like to bring into your life. Maybe it's just for tonight, maybe it's something that you want to bring into reality on a, on a greater scale. Maybe something like, I will be relaxed. Maybe it's just very simple. So just allow something just to bubble up, whatever that resolve is. And once you've formed it in your mind, just saying that mentally to yourself with real conviction, three times. And then just allow yourself to settle. And we'll begin the rotation of consciousness around your body. So I'm going to be saying or naming your body parts. And I just want you to follow my voice. So just bringing your attention, your awareness to each part of the body as I say it. And I'll say it fairly quickly so you're not lingering. And if you get the urge to dwell on something or overanalyze something, just see if you can let that go and stay with me, stay with the parts of the body that I'm naming. And so we're going to begin on the right, right hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, all five fingers together, the right palm, the back of the hand, the wrist, the forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, side of the body, the waist, the hip, the buttock, the right thigh, the right hamstring, the right knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the foot, the right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, all five toes together, visualising all five toes on the right foot. Now we'll go to the left side, starting with your left hand thumb, the second finger, 
third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, all five left fingers together, the left palm, the back of the hand, the wrist, the forearm, the elbow, the upper arm, the shoulder, the armpit, the side of the body, waist, left hip, left buttock, thigh, hamstring, knee, calf, the left ankle, the heel, the sole of the left foot, the left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, all five toes together. And now bringing your awareness to the front of the body. From your head, down through the neck, down through the shoulders and the chest, down past the solar plexus and the rib cage, into the belly, into the hips, the front thighs, the knees, the shins and the feet, the tops of the feet and the toes. And then we'll bring our awareness to the head and the face. Your chin, lower lip, upper lip, right cheek, left cheek, right ear, left ear, all the mouth, the tongue, your right nostril, left nostril, tip of your nose, the right eyelid, left eyelid, right eye, left eye, right eyebrow, left eyebrow the centre of the eyebrows, right temple, left temple, forehead, back of the head, crown of the head, the whole face, the whole head. And now finally moving to the back of the body, starting with the right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, the centre of the shoulder blade, upper back, centre of the back, the lower back, right side of the back, left side of the back, the whole back, the whole spine. And visualising now your whole spine running up the centre of the body, culminating in the skull, the back of the head, lying on the floor. And we're going to do a chakra visualisation. So for those of you who are familiar with the chakras, they're the seven energy centres of the body, the major ones that we often work with in yoga and particularly in yoga nidra. And they are from the crown of the head all the way down to the root of the body and the base of the spine. So just visualising your spine and imagining that as a pathway for the energy in your body 
to move. Maybe as you inhale, perhaps you could visualize the energy rising up the spine through the root of your body, through the base of the spine, all the way up to the crown of the head. And as you inhale, breathing that energy in, and as you exhale, maybe visualizing that energy descending from the crown of the head back out of the base of the spine. And perhaps you could imagine the spine, at the top of the spine, a flower at the crown of the head. And this flower has several beautiful green leaves around it. And maybe you can imagine the same at the base of the spine, a dark red flower. And this chakra is called the Muladhara. You may prefer to visualize a dark red light. And this is your grounding light. It connects you to the earth. It keeps you grounded, rooted in the present. So just spending a moment, just visualizing that deep red flower with a deep red light glowing as you inhale Maybe taking your breath into that space in the body, into the core, into the base of the spine, into the groin. And then moving up the spine, away from the Muladhara Chakra, we're moving up to the belly. And this colour and this flower is orange. And this is the fire in your belly. This is your motivation, your energy. So just seeing if you can breathe into that space. Just seeing what arises as you bring your attention to the belly. And if visualising is difficult, you could just see if you can relax. So when I talk about these places in the body, just see if you can let go a little bit more. See if you can soften in that space. Just allowing that beautiful orange flower to blossom in the belly. And then we'll move our attention up to the solar plexus. So this is the space just below the rib cage where it's soft. And quite often we hold tension here. And this is yellow, this is sunshine. This is our optimism. So again, maybe you're imagining a yellow flower in full blossom here, or a yellow light glowing as you breathe in and you let go as you breathe out, just releasing, softening that place. And then we bring the awareness up the spine, up the body, into the heart. And this is green, a green light or a green flower. If you prefer, you might choose a pink if you associate that with the heart. And this is your space of your loving kindness. So just breathing in, into that beautiful heart chakra 
Anahata. Just imagining that flower in full bloom. Beautiful open heart. A kind heart. And then bringing your awareness up the body once more to the throat. So your throat chakra, the place from which you speak your truth. And this is blue, beautiful radiant blue, breathing into that space, seeing if you can soften the throat, relax, that blue flower is blooming wide and open. And maybe we're releasing as we exhale any tension, any holding in this area. Just inhaling to fill it with that blue light and energy. Exhale to release and soften. And then we bring the awareness again up to between the eyebrows into Ajna Chakra. So the third eye and this is the place of our wisdom and our knowing, our instincts and it's purple, a rich purple flower, maybe we can visualise that resting between our eyebrows or maybe a light, a purple light as we inhale, seeing if we can soften there, soften the eyes, soften the brow, using that exhale just to let go and using the inhale to brighten that colour, to blossom that flower. And then finally we bring our attention to the crown of the head. And this is a beautiful white flower or white light. And this is our connection with inspiration, with the great universe, with each other with consciousness and so we'll just breathe into the, the top of the head and just visualising maybe this beautiful white flower blossoming or perhaps this white light just shining from the flower maybe it's connecting us with all that is, all that has been, and all that will be. And then we can bring our attention out to the whole body now, resting on the floor. And just perhaps we can imagine, if we can, hold in our minds the vision of all seven chakras in our body, in our spine, along that spinal cord. And perhaps as we inhale and exhale, we can connect with a sense of energy flowing through the body, unimpeded by any blockages. 
refreshing and revitalizing ourselves, healing ourselves. Just by letting go, just by softening. So now we're going to bring our mind back to the physical body resting on the floor and bringing our awareness back to the Sam Kalpa that we made at the start of our Yoga Nidra. And so we're not changing anything about that Sam Kalpa, we're just going to say it again in our minds three times with the conviction. and quietly, calmly sealing that Sankalpa into our subconscious mind, bringing it into reality. And we don't need to do anything to make that happen. We've just said it and we've sealed it. And now we're letting go of our yoga nidra practice. So we are starting to increase our awareness of the outside world. We're turning outwards again, noticing the breath. And maybe we can tune into the sounds around us. Maybe we can notice the sound of the breath in the body as it enters and leaves. And maybe we can notice other sounds in proximity, close proximity to us. Gentle creaks and sounds of the house or the place in which you live. And then taking your awareness further out now, so listening for sounds that are further in the distance. And you might now like to take your hands and place them over your eyes. And just gently feel the warmth of the hands on the face. And perhaps opening your eyes into that warm darkness. Just allowing your eyes to be softly open. And then when you're ready, you can gently take the hands away and reconnect yourself with the visual realm in which you find yourself. Seeing if you can keep that softness. And then just taking some gentle movements with the rest of the body, gently just stretching, shifting the, the weight around, however feels good to you. And just seeing if you can come onto your right side, roll onto your right side if that feels comfortable. And just taking a moment here to just really come back to this space that you are in. And then when you're ready, just gently pushing yourself up to a seated position and coming into a comfortable either cross-legged or with the legs extended. Bringing the palms of the hands together to the heart in prayer position. 
and just having some gratitude, seeing if you can connect with some gratitude for yourself, for taking the time to do this practice tonight, acknowledging your own efforts, and having a bit of gratitude for the great universe and the healing that we can connect with at any time. We can come back to this place of quiet and rest whenever we choose. Thank you for joining me this evening for Yoga Nidra. I hope you enjoyed this practice. I hope it's helped you to feel nice and chilled out before you go to bed tonight. Get a good sleep. And I'll be here again next week with another relaxation class. If you'd like to join me for yoga, you can visit my website www.gowildwithusuk.com and just click on the bar that says Wild Heart Yoga and that gives you all the information about what we're up to. We have an online video every week and we run two Zoom yogas as well as this. So if you'd like to take part in any of that, just drop us an email through the website and or just put something on the message on Facebook and I'll get back to you. Thanks everybody, have a beautiful sleep. Bye.